Hello, this is a video on expressing a quadratic trinomial ax squared plus bx plus c or a quadratic function in the form of a in brackets x plus b squared plus q and we will be doing that for finding the turning points of a quadratic function. Okay, the example we have is y equals x squared minus 4x plus 4. Now, point number one, you must ensure that a equals 1. If a is not 1, if there is any other number there, minus 1, 2, minus 2, any of the other numbers, you will first have to take out the highest common factor and then factorize the rest of the equation. All right, that might be another example or will be another example. Right, now, um, as I'm going through today, I will write down step by step what I do. So the first thing is, people, from the first two, the ax squared and the bx, I will actually um, change that to completing the square. So I will firstly ensure that I will have enough space to write, which means I'm going to take the x squared minus 4x, then I'm going to leave space and plus 4. So my number goes further behind. Then to complete the square, because that's what we are going to do now, complete the square, we were taught already in factorization that you must add b over 2 squared, okay? But because we are working with an expression here, we will add b over 2 squared and, very importantly, we will subtract b over 2 squared. When we do that in an expression, let's say we add 3 and we subtract 3, then that gives me a 0. So therefore, I'm not changing the actual value of the expression, okay? In an um, equation, this is different, okay? So if you add and subtract to the one side of an equal sign, or in this case, to the expression, then you basically add zero, so you don't change the values. Right, which means I must now add here b over 2 squared, okay? And there, I will subtract b over 2 squared. So let's look. We've got the x squared minus 4x. Then we have plus, okay? Importantly, 1 is a plus, 1 is a minus, okay? This one is plus. b in this case is negative 4 over 2, and we square it. Then we have plus 4, and now we're going to subtract b again is negative 4 over 2 squared. All right, now this lot here, you should recognize from completing the square. So this one, these three terms, we will now factorize like we did when we completed the square. And that is um, earlier in your textbooks under the factorization part of expressions. All right, what we really do, we take the square root of the first term and that becomes the first term in the bracket, right? And then we take the square root of the third term. So negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. And that squared and the square root thereof is actually negative 2, right? Close the bracket and then square the bracket. So that's the factorization from the three terms to the two terms in brackets, which are squared. That is the com um, completion of the square. Then for this here, because they are only numbers, 4 and that, they are only numbers, we can simply now 
calculate that. So that's plus 4 and then that gives me minus 4. Right. So plus 4 and minus 4 equals 0. So I've got my bracket minus 2 squared plus 0. Okay, and this now has the format of AX um, in bracket x plus b squared plus q. So in this case, a people really is 1. Okay, then we have x plus b in bracket squared plus q. All right, and now importantly, when you have expressed this expression in that format, okay, in this format, then you can find the turning point. And the turning point is, importantly, minus P and Q. All right. So if we now look, P has the value of negative 2. So we must find the negative of negative 2 for P. All right. And then the value for Q in this case is 0. So the value of Q is 0. Negative, negative 2 gives me a positive 2, 0. This is the turning point. Now very often they ask you also to indicate whether it's a minimum or a maximum point. Now that is easy to remember because if AX is positive, okay, then we have a U. And if AX is negative, AX squared, sorry, is negative, then we have an N shape. So in a U shape, the turning point will be at the bottom. And in an N shape, the turning point will be at the top. So the bottom we call the minimum point because it's at the bottom of a Cartesian plane are the lowest numbers. And if it is a negative AX squared, where it is an N and it is a higher point, it's up high, then because it's up high, it's going to be a maximum point. So when we just finish off our example, we have y equals x squared. So that is a positive. The positive has a u shape and the u shape has a minimum point. So in this case, 2, 0 is a minimum point. Okay, I hope this helps. Um, Work through a few times. Importantly, here are all the steps. Okay, this is another step. This is another step. And here, this you should just simply know.